Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Binder Finder. We're up early, sun's up. Truck and trailer's all loaded up, ready to go. Just wanted to show you guys what's behind me right here. This, all these trucks that are pointed this way, these are all sold, ready for transport. You guys ask where they all go. All these trucks that we tell the stories on and stuff, they get sold and they have to go. So all this behind me is sold inventory headed out the door. So if you're interested in something that we find on these truck adventures, get a hold of us right away because they don't last long. They're all, they, they leave, as you can see. So, today's story is going to be great. It's a, I think it's about a three and a half, four hour drive to get there. I'll uh, take you guys along and uh, show you a few things along the way as far as scenery or whatever. But uh, this is a good customer and friend of ours that called us about this truck. And uh, you guys are definitely going to want to see this. Uh, it is pretty special and pretty cool. So let's get on the road and go find out what we're going to pick up. Co-pilot, co-piloting. Um, that was half a tank, and it was two hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Half a tank. You guys think this is cheap? If anybody thinks this is cheap, it's not. Fuel is a killer right now for picking up trucks, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. Save these things. We're on the road. All right, guys. Just cruising down south here on our way to our destination for this truck. Not a ton to see. The uh, co pilot is still co piloting. She's really good in the truck, actually. It's surprising. Um, she doesn't get antsy and she doesn't get whiny or barky or anything like that. It's, I'm pretty lucky, to be honest. So, anyway. Pretty green down here still, thankfully. I don't think it's gonna be long before it all turns brown. But... Stay tuned, we are uh, about an hour away from our destination, I believe. And I'll show you guys this awesome truck that we're gonna rescue today. Lucy, Lucy, hey. All right, here's what we came for, guys. Definitely in its natural habitat. It was orange, so it was probably a railroad truck or a city truck or county. It's a 1965 or 1966, I gotta look at the title. Travelette, three quarter ton, four wheel drive. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just so I can make sure there's air in the tires. And watch out for the nettles. I'll just try and steer it as you're going out. I think it's going to go straight back pretty easily. I'm just worried about the bump right here. Oh, yeah, I got her in. Uh... I got the tires aired up. And... Okay, no brakes are on, no. Yeah, that's the only thing I really can't figure out. Okay. That door sure doesn't want to work. Nope. All right, we'll just give her back nice and easy, and then I'll see if we need to steer it.
Now we are also in negotiation on this Ford F100 too, so we'll keep you guys posted on that. And she rolls pretty easily too. Gotta love these California trucks. No rust, no rot, no cowl, nothing. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Pretty thankful for these. Get this to where it needs to go. Yeah, I can get all these oh. where they need to go. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. We just need to find more. My, I got my eye on a cup more. I know, I know. All right, we're gonna load it up there. these down make sure you don't go over your brake lines because you pinch your brake lines and you got a whole new problem. So you see I'm going over the axle under the brake line and then latch here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Right there see that? Okay now guys one more trick that my grandpa taught me. No not the ratchet. Maker. Okay so hopefully he picks this up on the camera. You take your strap the extra like this fold it up fold it however many times you want but on these ratcheting tie downs just put it through the handle like that after you fold it put that down that's locked that's locked you know the rest all right guys back in Oregon I'll do a little walk around on that truck when I get back to the shop so you guys can see it but uh, yeah pretty cool deal uh, the farm that it came from is three years away from being a hundred year century farm same family and everything pretty pretty amazing um the truck was the grandfather's and he had passed away many years ago and his son the father now is in ill health as well unfortunately so there is a family member and a trust that are taking care of all the farm equipment in the farm for now and that's how we got called for it so pretty uh, unique opportunity and uh, I feel very blessed that we get those phone calls and that people you know reach out to us and, and want us to save these trucks and knowing that we'll get them to somebody who will restore them and use them again um, that truck has the uh, original California pink which in California is a you know certificate of ownership so I mean, I call it a title, but it's but they call it something different. And uh, that truck was sold new in 1966 in the town in California where we got it from. So it's been there its whole life. Now, interestingly enough, the license plates on it, 
you know, I always look at the plate, the sticker, whatever. The uh, registration sticker on the plate on the truck was 1979. That means that truck was only plated on the road for 13 years. Now, I know they drove it more than that. They just, uh, they probably just threw a farm plate on it or a, a farm triangle on the back if they needed to go to town. But yeah, last licensed, 1979. I'll show you guys that when I get back to the shop. But um, here's a little scenery for you. That's uh, Klamath Lake. We just passed Klamath Falls a little bit ago. Really nice day. It's uh, 80 degrees, sunny, light breeze. Couldn't ask for a much better rescue day. Did have to uh, crawl through the, the bushes and the grass and the trees a little bit. Um, they took that truck out of the barn. It was truly a barn find, but they took it out of the barn about a week ago with the tractor so that we could get it easier with the truck and trailer. So um, I took some pictures from right where the spot where it was at. So, And there's some other vehicles there that we were uh, talking to them about and uh, we might have an opportunity to go back and purchase a couple more vehicles. Uh, none of them are internationals, but there's some other cool stuff there. So anyway, co-pilot, he's still co-piloting back there. Um, this is got her a water we stopped at uh, we stopped at this little mom and pop burger joint called the was it called the polar bear I think it's called the polar bear anyway bacon cheeseburger small fry homemade and I mean homemade with real ice cream chocolate shake and I can't tell you guys the last time I had a really good burger really good potato cut fries and a really good true ice cream made milkshake so uh, if you guys are ever down in that neck of the woods uh, I believe that was in Merrill Oregon on our way back up Merrill Oregon tiny little town uh, the polar bear look it up online it's a, it's a little drive-in style burger joint pretty cool anyway I will uh, I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit when we get to the shop and we'll talk a little bit more about this truck and what it is all right all right that is a wrap for this video guys we're home we're back at the shop time to unload this thing unstrap it get it off the trailer and start answering all the emails text messages and phone calls i got from posting one picture on instagram pretty great story been parked since 79 sitting in a potato barn in northern california all right stay tuned i'll let you know what happens to this where it goes who takes it what they're going to do with it as always it is for sale like most of our stuff so if you are curious about it and it is something you're interested in and you see this video i would call sooner than later because it probably might be here but i don't think it'll be here Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate you guys following the journey. Hope you like this uh, rescue, pick up from the farm, showed you guys loading on the truck and strapping it down and then driving home. So uh, that's what we do. We rescue them, we get them home, and we rehome them to somebody that's going to take them and use them again. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one.